please like and subscribe for more tutorial for beginners. New videos every day. So in this lesson, we are going to deal with an app which will be used to give us upsell in our websites. So what is basically an upsell? Well, upsells are like giving an extra sale for your uh, for the customers in for which they buy a product for suppose a customer bought a product for uh, $20 uh, suppose a brush and then uh, immediately after he buys the product we will be showing them a display that hey you brought a brush you will get another 30% off on your next uh, purchase of uh, 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 another product and the time range is 10 minutes you need to buy this in 10 minutes so basically these upsells are really great so basically these upsells gives you extra sale according to uh, your cu customers well many customers tend to buy many products so to move on let's now create our app for our upsell so, so let's visit our app store at the moment so it may take some time so here you're gonna need to search for the app honeycomb upsell and this app honeycomb upsell and cross sell this app is really really great so it will give you a free plan for uh, once you have like uh, have more than uh, so you can see that 100 monthly funnel views so it means that it's free per month until 100 people buys so after 100 people buys it may charge 49.499 per month so basically when you have 100 people to buy from your website you will have enough money to like grab these packages and this 100 monthly funnel views means that uh, you will have at least 20 to 30 customers who are going to be converting through this uh, funnel so basically you can say that you're uh, adding extra 200 or 300 dollars so in that case you can always give some extra <laughs> 50 per month extra so in order to do so let's just start uh, I'm just adding this app in my app bar or in my Shopify panel so you'll see that it's now rotating and I'm just gonna click on this install app button which will install the app in my website so you can see that it's being installed okay so I will just say no thanks because I want to proceed on with the free plan and as I said I will be just giving uh, creating everything with free so that you don't have to spend any extra bucks so let's start by creating a funnel here so this is basically analyzing my order history basically these are getting ready so let's just launch some make your phone okay Oops. So these are the basic uh, changes or uh, details. So I'm just gonna save design like this. Got it. So okay. So you will see that after you have created you, this is the bar for which they say that how many views you have. So suppose you got three purchases and three people says this funnel you created it will be three. So now let's move on. So the first thing is that they have this upsell funnel wall recommended funnel 2 and recommended funnel 1 these are basically the funnels which are like uh, for default so this is for thank you page this funnel is for your cart page and this funnel is for cart page so we will be only focusing on the thank you page funnel why the thank you page funnel will we be focusing because customer tends the customers who already bought from your website tend to buy more from your website always keep that in mind so this thank you page only comes after a customer buys from your website so let's just dive in so before that here is the design part and here is the advanced funnel part and here is an upsell academy for which if you want to learn something more you can learn so I'm visiting the funnels part again and in this thank you page 
I'm just going to click on this pen option. Well, you can create as many funnels as you want. So here, it says recommended funnel one. So I'm just giving this funnel name as only funnel one. So you can create as many funnels you want. So funnel one, uh, let's, uh, let's say brush funnel one. So basically this is for the brush. If anyone buys the brush, you will see only this funnel. So select a page to show in this funnel. So I prefer this thank you page. And here it says add offers autopilot. So basically if you give this option, uh, they will add offers according to their wish. But I will I want to add offers manually. So this is the, the template he, the a customer sees when he just buys. So it will change accordingly. Uh, okay, so your funnel will be triggered based on these rules. The, so there are three rules. So for all, show only for specific products, show only for specific collections. So remember one thing, you should always create different funnel for your different products. Uh, I prefer that. So I'm preferring this show only for specific product. So uh, the product I will be using this funnel for is this detangler brush. Oops. So I used that and you have also have the option to exclude variance but I want that to be keeping kept so here is your offer one so select a product that will be offered to your buyer so once he a person buys a detangler brush he will be shown this uh, another product suppose say well tie suppose uh, whenever he goes to the thank you page and he says okay hold on you can buy this wealth toy for more 20% off so I'm just giving it a discount of more than 30% so here is the upsell so and here is the offer text so it says deal unlocked get this product for 20% off so I'm just gonna say hey hold on hey hold on get this toy for more 30% of the dis discounted price and then it says include free shipping uh, oh yes and there is another thing show offer description well you can add some description so I'm just you can suggest give your description according to their want but since this is an example and this is used for teaching purpose I'm just gonna say that uh, this is an example this is an example offer offer so the offers are gonna be shown at the down part so whenever I just test this you can see this so include free shipping for clients who accept this you can always include free shipping or you can just uh, exclude that it's up on your choice so I'm just including that free shipping here and you can also limit the number of products your buyer could buy well you can say that you can only buy two products using this upsell which means that he won't be able to buy more than two products with this third more 30 percent discount so see a minimum number of products your buyers might buy and exclude variants and this is personal see a minimal number of products your buyer must buy so you can also say that you should buy at least two items to get this pro deal but I've just skipping it none and here the exclude variance option well I just want to keep this uh, and exclude so here after you've just created your first upsell you can also create a downsell which means that what happens if a buyer like refuses to buy this so uh, it happens that he just he refuses that okay I won't buy this one so what happens so I'm just adding another downsell so here you have two parts if offer one is accepted and if offer one is declined so if there I can go in two way so if offer one is accepted what will I do so I can give upsell to another product suppose I'm giving this copy will toy four, and I'm just giving okay you bought my product to product and I'm, I'm just giving you a 40% discount now so you can just give say that we love we love loyal clients so get this for 40% off 
so this is basically another upsell that I created which means that this upsell will only be triggered if the first product is being bought you can see that I have given so many discounts but you must be thinking that why should I give so many discounts because these are bulk orders well if a customer is buy four products altogether from your website it's your the only gainer although you'll be having less amount of profit per product but think of this as a whole bunch so you may think that this is a whole bunch of products and four products are being sold all together which will be a huge profit for you ultimately because you can always restock the product with low price even though you are just profiting two dollar per product think that you're selling four products so you may earn so many dollars so this is the second upsell if this uh, specific client buys from your website and here you have all the offers as before so it says include free shipping for clients who uh, accept uh, these are the previous uh, rules that I showed you so here now I want to say another offer suppose the first order is like shown like the first order is declined so what will you do if I uh, much of the study says that if the uh, if a client declines your first order give them more discount so let's say you're giving them a 50% discount so let's you will give the message like hey it's not over yet over yet this is your last chance this is your last chance so grab this with more 50% discount so the major thing is once your like customer denies a deal from previously you will uh, obviously give them another deal so if the major roadmap is first of all if one accepts your offer you will just give them another upsell saying okay I got another product you for you that's 30 percent and if another person declines your offers at the very first just give them straight 50 percent discount and he may buy that product and now just go downwards and you'll have this all of these options as before so you can create multiple funnels so you can create another downsell offer here so you can say that if offer 2 is accepted if offer 2 was declined so most of the studies show that you should only give one upsell uh, one accepted offer and one declined offer because giving too much upsell decreases your brand value so you shouldn't like give too much upsell so here you can also add another offer in this bar which means that uh, you can just give a, a different product for a different upsell so this setting is basically same regarding the fact that it's just only a different product so I'm just not going through them you can just test it yourself so basically the same setting with a different offer so I'm not just gonna get that so well let me just show that because and I'm gonna show this thing first so I'm say let, let's say uh, I'm just selecting a uh, uh, will to toy and this is also for that detangler brush and let's keep this as it is I'll just show you the part in the well I'm just testing that part so these are the funnel rules here it says shows only for a specific card value so you can just click on this option and you can just uh, give the range for like if anyone buys a product for fifty dollars he will be only shown this funnel so I'm just keeping this blank you can just play around with yourself so only for a specific amount of product you can also keep uh, play around with this yourself and these options show this funnel to all customers new customers and repeat customers I prefer this all customers button and show this funnel on all devices and show this funnel on only thank you page you can just choose multiple pages but I prefer this thank you page and here you have another option like skip offers if the product is already included in the original order so you can do this if you want but I suggest you just stay out of this and target specific countries you, as you wish and this is your way allow customers to use a discount code the, totally it's your choice so I'm just allowing them for the moment and add funnel priority 
so you can just prioritize your funnel you can just go and play around it and here is the start time and end time so I'm just keeping these three I'm not showing because these are really simple options so right now I will be saving this funnel and I will be just heading on to this like upsell window to see if this funnel works so you can see that your honeycomb funnel is enabled so here is your funnel one brush and I'm just gonna activate it now so you can see that your funnel just got activated so here is the preview button of your funnel so I'm just clicking on the preview so this is the place you're gonna see this how your funnel will look like so basically your clients will have a thank you page for that funnel and he will have uh, five minutes to decide whether he is gonna buy this or not so it said hey hold on get this toy for more 30 percent discount of the discounted price so whenever your client sees wow that was 35 and now it's 24.50 I should buy it so if a client buys this suppose he says grab this deal and he will be redirected to buy he will be shown another upsell saying we love loyal clients so we will give this for more 45 percent off if you buy this another one so he may say grab this deal or he may say pass even if he says grab this deal he will be again shown uh, this upsell and even if he just denies it he can just check out so he here is the option to complete your purchase he will just click on this and it will take to the checkout page so as it is a preview it's not showing anything so I'm just restarting you for the downsell part so suppose your client didn't grab this deal and he will be offered straight 50% discount as I just mentioned so now if you just grab this deal he will be shown another funnel so this one will continue so this is the part of your funnel creation so this funnel creation is really really important so I think you understood why this is important so as well as you already showed the preview so I recommend implementing funnel for each of your product well implementing funnel for each of your product won't cost you extra buck well after having hundred clients may cost you extra buck if and if you if 100 people sees your funnel you'll definitely get 20 or 30 people to convert so you'll definitely get a ton of money to reinvest so I prefer using this upsell so this is for this lesson I'm gonna see you in the next lesson